So let's try to create some more methods which return something else. So let's say, instead of creating show, let's work with add, which returns a integer value. It will take two parameters, int i and int j, right? Let's say we have this. And even before we go with the lambda expression, let's try to create normal objects. I will say a over j equal to new a. And then we can also go with the creating a different class or we can go for an anonymous class. Now we are used to it, right? And the method name, which is public int add, which accepts two value int i comma int j. And uh, now you want to return i plus j, right? Of course, we can create a different variable. We can add, we can return. But again, just to reduce the number of lines, we are just saying return i plus j. Okay. And then once you have this, we can simply uh, take the value in result is equal to obj dot add. And we can pass two values 5 comma 4. Okay. And then we can print result. Simple stuff, right? Now, if I go back here and if I see if this works, compile and run, you can see we got 9. So this is working. Now, can I use a lambda expression here? Let's try. So first of all, let's remove the entire part here. This is not needed. And since we are removing this curly brackets, we can remove this one as well. So remove and remove. And then we just have to put a arrow here. Okay, I just missed one semicolon. Okay, so one more thing. As we know that this is optional. I mean, we only have one statement, right? So we don't need to put curly brackets. We can remove that one as well. Things are working. Okay, let me just run this before removing it to see if everything is working. Compile and run. Oh, it's still working. And now I can do one more thing. We can remove this curly brackets. Now, we can write everything in one line, as you can see. There's, there's one thing. Whenever you have one statement and that to the statement is return, you cannot write return, just return. So you have to remove that as well. So whatever you mention here actually becomes a written type. Okay, so when you have one statement which is return, which is an expression, you can see i plus j is an expression, it becomes a written type or written value. One more thing, you can remove this int and int as well. And you can see the code is so small now. And that's the beauty of Lambda expression. And one more thing. So let's say if you are calling a function or a method by passing the object, you can also pass the Lambda expression. In fact, once we start with the topic of collections, uh, we'll see that how do we pass uh, the Lambda expression as the argument. Okay, and that will be quite fun. So yeah, so even if you have a method which returns a value, you can still use a Lambda expression there. So some points to remember. Lambda expression only works with a functional interface. If you don't have a functional interface, it will not work. Because see, if you have multiple methods, let's say add and subtract both, and when you write this type of line, which method you are implementing? Is it add or is it sub? That's the confusion, right? And that's why it is not allowed. So Lambda expression works only with the functional interface. So yeah, that's about a functional interface which has a method which returns something.